Assalamu alaikum everyone. So, sorry, I could not <coughs> join in the afternoon. There was no electricity. Anyway, so I'm recording this lecture for all of you. Please watch it. And if you still have any questions, this, this lecture, this video is for my 101 students. Uh, so, computer science. So, uh, Mita, if you have any questions, you can ask me. Okay, you can write in them, you can text me, or you can even ask me in the next class. We will be revising logic gates um, today. So, well, as well, point, the point is, why do we have to use logic gates? Uh, why do we have logic gates? Um, obviously, uh, we have logic gates uh, that perform basic logic functions. Uh, and then you could say that they're the fundamental uh, building blocks of any digital integrated circuit that you might have. Any circuits that you have, you will have logic gates within them. Um, the ICs, the integrated circuits that you might have heard of, every electronic device has one. So most um, logic gates basically that you have obviously will be taking uh, two binary values, uh, okay? And will be out outputting a single value of one and zero. Uh, some circuits may even have uh, only a few logic gates while others might, such as the microprocessors, may have millions of them within them. So, so that would be this. There are obviously different kinds of logic gates that we have, but we will just try to stick to whatever are in the syllabus and this is what I will discuss with you. So let's start. First of all, what I'll discuss with you is uh, the AND one. Okay, so here we go. Uh, first one we'll discuss is the AND logic gate that we have. Uh, if you want to have a look at the logic uh, get circuit, this is the way it looks like. This is your AND. I'll try to draw as perfectly as I can. That's your AND basically. And what happens in AND is uh, you can have two input over here. You can have two input, you can have A and B. And we can make a truth table of this. So let's say we have A, B, and we can have an output over here. So we can have different outputs over here. Uh, for example, I could have zero, zero. I could have zero, one. I could have one, zero. And I could have one, one. Now, in your AND gate, so, uh, the output basically, since it's, it's also known as the multiplication, and we also use a dot to donate this. So, what we can do is this, uh, if you multiply this, obviously get zero, 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 a one, zero, zero, and one, one. So you can see over here is that this is the way basically it's working. So what we could say, obviously in, in this particular case is, uh, you, can, you may note it down as well, that uh, output in this particular case is at a logic of one, uh, when, only when all its inputs are logic one, otherwise uh, they're zero. So, so when both basically tend to be one over here, as you can see, this is one way of remembering it, uh, then the output is one, otherwise it's not one. Like I told you, it's, it's uh, remember, and is multiply. So obviously if you multiply, you get zero. That's a good way to remember it. That's a truth table of your AND gate. You have to remember, you have to remember that the circuit uh, diagram of it, you have to remember the truth table of this as well. It's important. The next one that we will discuss is basically your OR gate. So the OR gate basically that you have, uh, your OR, oops. It's something like this. So here we go. And I have this curvy thing, goes like this, and here's an output. So you will have A, B, and you will have an output over here. So the OR basically, we tend to say it as plus, it's addition. And if we make the truth table of A and B, it will come out to be something like this. And let's have the output over here.
So again, I, if I have over here is zero, 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 one, one, zero, and then I have one, one. So the output in case of the OR gate, if I have zero, zero, obviously it will be zero. But in case of zero and one, it will be one. In case of one, zero, it will be one. And in case of one, one, it will be one. So like I said, it's uh, an addition. So obviously zero plus one is one, so you can take it that way. This is the truth table of your, your OR gate. It's very important uh, gate. Obviously the first two are very, very important. So how, how, how could you remember this? Obviously you could say is the uh, output is at logic one, when one or more are at logic one. So and if any one of A and B is one, the output will be one. And if all inputs are zero, then the output will be zero. So in this case, obviously, if A and B are zero, it will be zero. So that's the way we're doing it. But I just told you uh, the plus is also a nice way to remember it. Let's discuss is the, is the, is the um, let's discuss is the, the NAND gate first, okay? Uh, no, not the NAND gate. Let me first discuss with you is, uh, the not obviously here yeah, the, the not is the inverse uh, so so there's nothing particular about it uh, because you should know what the so if you talk about the not gate uh, which tends to be like this so obviously uh, there's only one input in case of not gate because it is there just to inverse so this means um, if you, you make a truth table of uh, a not gate uh, if you have a and the output so which means when a is zero the output is one and when a is one the output is zero so it will obviously you can see is it and it will inverse it so it will always inverse it that's your not and that's how you make the not gate why did i discuss with you not gate first because obviously we'll try to integrate the not gate with the and and the or and we'll see what do we get so like in case of your nan gate your NAND gate, um, which tends to be like this. So it's AND, so remember it, NAND, NAND, and NOT, NOT and AND, remember like that. So that's the way, so you, we just discussed how to make is the AND gate. That's how we make is the AND gate. And over here, we'll just make a small circle and here's the output. So this basically represents that this NOT. So if we have A and B, let's see how will it work and how the output will be in this case. So let's make the truth table of this and see how it works. So I have A, I have B, and I have an output over here. Wait just one second, let me just adjust it so that I can draw it properly. So, right. Okay, again, the same way, uh, we'll have zero, zero. We'll have zero, one, we'll have one, zero, and we'll have one, one. In this case, the output in case of the NAND gate, um, zero, zero will be one. Uh, this will be one, zero, one. Uh, this will be one, and this will be zero. Well, if you remember, if you could just recall what was happening in case of uh, the, the, the AND gate, if you just can recall, in AND gate, it was, it was multiplication. And if you remember, uh, when any of uh, the input, A or B, was zero, the output was zero. But now in this case, uh, since we have added this particular not over here, after we receive this, if we inverse the output that we would have received uh, after the AND, obviously it would give us the opposite. So if the output through the AND, of these two, the output of this would have been zero. And if we inverse, this becomes one. The output of this with an AND gate would have been zero. And if we inverse, this becomes one. The output of this with the help of the AND gate would have been zero. And if we inverse, this becomes one. The output of this through the AND gate would have been one. And if we inverse, this becomes zero. So like I told you, the NAND gate is the inverse of the AND gate. OK? So that's how basically it works. More interesting, we will discuss is our, uh, let's discuss the NOR gate, okay? So this is your NOR gate. 
So I just told you, the, uh, if you remember the and and the or, they, they are the most important. You will be able to drive the rest of them through these. So that's your norm. And this is the way your logic circuit looks like for the norm. Uh, exactly the or. Till now, remember this is the or. But I'll just add the small circle for the not. So if I have two inputs A and B, and I have an output over here. So the truth table of this will be, let's see, and the output. So I have over here zero, zero. I have zero, one. I have is one, zero. And I have is one, one. So think for a while. Think for a while what should happen. Think for a while that we did discuss that the NOR gate we just talked about was what? Was addition, remember? Plus. And what did we remember in that particular case? That if any one of them is one, the output will be one. So the output in this particular case, okay, of, of um, this zero and zero, if we were using the, the OR gate, uh, zero, zero would have been zero. And if we inverse it, obviously it becomes one. The output of zero, one, in that particular case, would have been one in case of the OR gate. So the output would have been one in case of the NOR gate, the output would be zero. The output in case of the OR gate would have been one, but if we inverse it, it becomes zero. The output of one, one in case of the OR would have been basically one, but if we inverse it, it becomes zero. So this is your uh, output that you get through the NOR gate. This is the fourth gate that we have just discussed. Okay. It's pretty easy, very simple. Just have to remember them, okay? Um, then we have is, uh, what else we have to discuss? Okay, we have discussed. Let's discuss the ZOR gate. So um, let me just type it again. So we have this, the <coughs> ZOR gate. Listen carefully. I will discuss this ZOR gate in much more detail. Well, um, basically the way we represent, uh, for example, if the output is, uh, let's say the output is Y. The way we represent is, is Y is equals to A plus is written this way, ZOR B. So A is or B is written like this, or it could be written in, put in algebra as this as well. You could write over here is A, B inverse plus A inverse B. That's the way we do it. I will just uh, prove this to you. And while we discuss it, I'll make a logic diagram and we'll discuss it. So <clears throat> in case of Zor, uh, please remember, I, I will write down over here as well. Uh, if the number of one at input is odd, then the output is one, else so if the number one at the input is odd, which means if there's only one, one, then the output is one, else the output is zero. You have to remember this in of this odd. So let's I will write down this again. So we have A, B inverse, and A, B inverse. So like I told you, uh, we have to discuss this in more detail that why do we have this representation. 
So <clears throat> if we um, represent the logic circuit diagram of this, that's the way we represent the SOAR gate. Uh, we have this circle and here we go like this. And now we have the OR gate. So this was supposed to be curved, curved. And here we go. That's how the ZOR gate looks like. And if we make the truth table, let's have a look at the truth table. A, B, and we can have the output. So we have zero, zero. We have zero, one. We have one, zero. And we have one, one. The output in this particular case will be is zero, one, one, one. So remember we said if the number one at the input is odd, then the output is odd. The output is one, okay? So this is the way you have to remember this. This is OR gate, okay? And uh, if you want to have a look at this one, uh, let me draw the diagram of this uh, so that it can be much more clear. I hope I can draw it over here. So for example, I have is A and B, and I need to draw, I'll try to make it as neat as I can. So here we go. Since we are using plus, we are discussing this OR gate. Uh, here we go. And then one of the input will come here, and one of this input will come here. But the most interesting thing over here is that over here, over here, we will place is the knot, the knot. And the other one we will place over here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I know it. Oh, I have to draw this, if I draw this again, hold on. Let me draw this again, because I want it to be more clear. So like I said, we have A, B, I want to draw a much neater diagram so they can explain it more thoroughly and discuss it. Let me just so here we go. I'll just discuss this. Here we go. <clears throat> so, like I said, I, I, I will come back to this again. Uh, so we said that we have will have this as a b plus a b, and we'll have this as a inverse and inverse. So this is the way our uh, ZOR gate is represented, or the other way is we represented A plus B. So let's have a look at this one. Obviously, if you look at the truth table, uh, which I have to obviously just quickly, again, uh, we had over here zero, 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 we had zero, one, one, we had one, zero, one, and we had one, one, zero. So if we look at, let's say, this particular case. So uh, we have this inverse over here for B. So you can see where is B inverse, B inverse, B input is being inversed, and the uh, A 
input is being inverse. So that's the way it is. Okay. So let's say if we use this particular case, if A is zero, if A is zero and B is one, right? So when this comes over here, A, this is, this remains as zero. So A will remain as zero, as you can see over here. And when this one comes over, it gets inverse and it becomes zero. And it goes through the SAN gate. And obviously you're going over to the AND gate, it still remains as zero. Okay, so this is still at zero over here. And if you look at this particular case, uh, this A is zero, and when it gets inversed, it becomes one. So A over here, when it goes through this, gets inversed, becomes one. And over here, when B goes through this, when B goes through this over here, oh, sorry, through this over here, it is one. So one and one is one. So the output in case of zero and one through the through the OR gate is, is one. So we've improved this fact that how this logic circuit diagram of the ZOR gate gives the output of one over here. I hope it's clear. You can please watch the video again. It will be much more clear to you, right? <clears throat> uh, first, let me just um, answer one of my student, her first question. She, she had a question, I still remember that, and I did postpone it and I said when we'll discuss logic itself I'll discuss it with you I think so it was from this paper I believe so uh, let me see was this yeah I, I think so this is the one so over here uh, what we have over here is we the alarm X is enabled and disabled using either switch a or remote or there are two infrared C D and one door pressure which is e so we have these parameters a B and C and D right uh, we have switch, we have binary values, zero and one. So uh, the, the main, main important thing is over here. So the alarm sounds, so over here, the important thing is that the alarm sounds X is equals to one if the alarm is enabled. So the alarm is enabled, if the alarm is enabled. This is one, okay, this is one. The alarm is enabled. And any one or more of the sensors is activated. Any one or more of the sensors is activated. This means this is why we use, we are using all way because any one, uh, when any one of this is activated, okay. So we have uh, zero or one. We have uh, zero or one in this case. We have zero or one in this case. So in either any of the case, if you make the truth table of this as well, you will see it. So how did we came up with this diagram? Well, it was simple, very simple. Uh, is enabled and any one or more of the sensors activated. So you would you'd obviously think that what logic gate will I be using when any one or more of the sensors activated? So you know that we have over here is the OR gate. And in OR gate, if any one of the input is one, it's why the, the output is one, okay? So the output is, is, is one, right? The, oh, sorry, the output of this is one, right? And the output of this is one. So when, when this all, uh, this becomes one, right? The output this becomes one, 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 one becomes one. And when this is one, the output is one. So the, this was the important part. The, if X is one is enabled and, and, so this and that you see was because of this and, Right, and any one of the sensors is activated. So we will have one, two, three, four, five. We have these inputs, and we'll we'll use the OR gate to input them, and then we'll establish this. Right? So that's the way <clears throat> this had to be done. So I had some other uh, other uh, good questions for you, but I think so. I, I should not be targeting them right now. Just wait. Uh, logic gate practice. Uh, you do not get such kind of questions basically in in your P2, I'm sorry, in P1. Um, we will see when we discuss the syllabus again, but I uh, know in, in the syllabus, it's, it's, it's mostly it will come in P3. So I would like to discuss with this view, but obviously we can do it in P3 because I'm not giving you this in the exam. So still, if there's any confusion, um, we will discuss inshallah in the next class. But in the next class on Monday, inshallah, I would like to uh, 
go a bit fast and uh, let, let's finish at least at least minimum two chapters in the next inshallah inshallah we will do it so no not less than that so this was today's lecture uh, please all of you obviously if you're watching you're watching how can i say watch the lecture okay see you with all of you allah bless